So now we are going to the second one, which is sequential exploratory design. And it's very easy because it's exploring a phenomena, which means it's going to start from the qualitative and then it would fall into a qualitative study to draw the generalization of that particular research, right? This research is also referred to as instrument development design, right? Most of the research that has been published in sequential exploratory design is being used for the survey or instrument development, right? When, when the survey or the design is not available, you actually take the points from the intended audience of that particular group who are going through or experiencing that particular phenomenon. And they will give you the appropriate words and the appropriate vocabulary for that instrument to be used. The purpose of this design is to generalize qualitative findings to a larger sample, right? And the purpose of, and why, why generalization? And that's the point where the interpretivist, interpretivist would argue with you. A generalization is not the purpose of a qualitative research. But here we are generalizing it because the, the purpose of the study actually wants a generalization in a bigger term, right? Because in, in the example of Salman specifically, if you look into it, the organizational burnout is not a phenomenon that is going to be specific to that one organization. It's a generalizable phenomena that can be or the psychosocial uh, supporting environment can actually inform a lot of organizations to adapt or adopt uh, such practices into their organization, right? The qualitative phase is used to help develop or inform the quantitative study, instrument design, as I've already discussed, and grounded theory, right? Grounded theory is a specific uh, type of uh, qualitative research, right? And those who have read it, they must know that grounded theory is not something that you propose. You actually get into it and then you, uh, you, you build upon some theories, but at the end, you draw a generalized theory that can be adapted into different contexts or the similar context of uh, the proposed research. Right? There is no theory or model, no instrument, or the variables are not. Sequential exploratory, as we said, that it is going, it's a building tool, right? It's not embedded. It's a building tool design where qualitative data and result build to a qualitative and a quant, sorry, quant uh, phase, right? And then the interpretations are being made. The purpose of this two-phase explanatory mixed method study will be obtained statistical quantitative results from a sample and 